little scary, but <laughs> yeah, I trusted my work, you know. Uh, well, worked out nice. Uh, the only problem is <laughs> I misjudged my space a little bit, and as you can see, the flex in the roof. That the roof is actually sitting against that pipe and my little uh, support isn't even touching the ground. Which is okay. I am going to try to move it. I mean, I'm replacing this roof anyways, but I still don't want that. To... For those of you interested in building one of these uh, for your own project, uh, it took me about six to eight hours ish to build it, um, and it cost me probably about eighty dollars lumber and hardware. That includes <laughs> stuff I bought at the local hardware store, which is a lot more expensive than Menards and such, um, like these brackets that I bought. Those brackets were about, uh, you know, 12, 14 bucks a piece. And they weren't long enough, so you can see here that I have extended it. There's a weld right here. So, and these are the two um, mounting points for the bumper, um, bumper mounts. So the idea is to get the weight transferred from the frame, frame, so that all the weight of the car is, is hanging on the frame. Weight gets transferred to this board, straight down to the ground, and it sits there on the, you know, it's a 2x6. Uh, and you know, the, the 2x6 is off the ground, the weight's actually transferred to the plywood. It's 5 8 inch plywood, um, which is, you know, probably about the minimum that I would go for, a, you know, this is a probably six 700 pound chassis. If you're doing a big car, I'd probably go like an inch thick plywood or two uh, 5 8 five eighths inch sheets, um, one on each side with the wooden frame in between. Uh, that's how I would do it if I had more weight, but you know this car is super light. Um, so again, the, you know, the weight is hanging on the frame and it's hanging on the frame in the back too and it gets transferred to the 2x6 using the bumper mounts and straight down to the ground. So most of the weight right now is sitting on the corner of those boards and then that board on the inside is basically just balancing it there's not that much weight on there which is why I can get by with those smaller brackets my safety chains eventually I'll have to move them because I'm planning on removing that suspension while it's up but yeah hanging for my chain fall so we're nice and safe under here and uh, here's the front one the roll worked perfect, as you can, you saw. Uh, and now we get our first real good look at the underneath of this car, guys. Um, I think I'll leave that for a different video, though. For now, I'm alive. The car's on the side. Now we can get to work. Uh, the rest of this video is kind of a how-to on how to build this thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'll get thumbs down on this video, but I don't care. It's worked out really good and I'm going to save a lot of hours on my back. So I'm happy with how it turned out. So thanks for watching and uh, see you later. Hey everyone, uh, so a uh, little side project, although related to my Mustang, I want to make myself a little tip jig, um, or rollover jig, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's cold, it's January 22nd, and uh, yeah, it's about 8 degrees Fahrenheit, or uh, negative almost negative 10 degrees celsius so it's cold guys uh 
a little warmer in the shop, but anyway, I'm going to document this uh, build of this tip jig so if anyone else wants to do it, they can see what worked for me. So let me start off with uh, this. Okay, I got some, my hands are shaking a little bit. I got some 8 foot uh, 2 by 6s and uh, I have marked it. I'm going to do a 6 foot width for the uh, end boards and uh, I marked it at 3 foot so I know where the center is going to be. And I marked it at 6 feet and I'm going to cut it right there. Okay, next I wanted to make a couple of standoffs just to keep the, uh, the wood away from the back a little bit. Um, so I uh, took a two foot section of leftover wood that I had from the two by sixes, cut it in half, notched out a two inch by one inch corner because uh, you know I'm gonna work with that little area right there. So just to get it to fit a little bit better and a little bit more flush, I just knocked out that corner. You can see I got. Uh, three bolt holes there to work with. So I'm just going to go through, go from the uh, other side and I'm going to use my hammer. I can't do it while I'm filming but use my hammer to just grab a couple, three holes so I know where to drill for my uh, mounting bolts. Okay, the next thing I did was hung the board, the 2 by 6 one of them, up on the rear. Uh, there's a little bit of an angle to this piece that I'm going to be you know this back piece so I'm gonna have to shim it up in the back on the bottom with a couple of these uh, three to quarter inch pieces of scrap wood but uh, yeah I just kinda hung that up there and then I went from behind with a owl and then she marked my uh, my bolt holes my bolt hole locations alright so I got my board test fitted on the back, um, again, it's sitting at an angle. You know, I gotta put a board on the bottom down behind here uh, to make sure that it's sitting. You want it to be pretty perpendicular to the ground. And the reason I chose this length is because I get that much on the outside. You want that to, you know, you want to have a, you know, two two inch or so gap between the side of the body and the floor. So you you want it really close to the floor, keep the center of gravity low, but you want it to be, uh, you don't want to scrap, scratch, up, scratch up anything. So, rear board test fitted. Need to uh, go down to the hardware store, get some uh, bolts that fit better. Uh, and then I'll start cutting circles. And I've taken my board and I took my plywood, cut out two two foot by two foot squares, and uh, arched it using a just a piece of wire with a pencil, and then a jigsaw. Got it lined up so that you know, the corner matches up to the arch, and then uh, lined up those edges, and now I'll just drill those through. My back support all made and fitted up. So uh, just to give you an overview, showed you that before. I got this in here with one of those fence hangers, like 64 cents at the hardware. So that allowed me to, you know, put those end to end like that. And then I put this cross piece here, and on the back I put my screw plate. And uh, I reinforced this with bolts. And then you can see there's a cross piece. It goes up. So that's pretty strong, pretty straight. The only bad thing is I put that piece of wood on the inside and it's bending the metal the sheet metal on the inside a little bit, but I'll you know, straighten that out later. Now I'm fitting up the front piece. So it's the same length board. I have the middle marked. I line that up with the middle of the rear support here. Probably will put a piece of wood in between there so that this doesn't dig in and 
you know, mess it up. But right now it's just held in place with some bungees and sitting on a jack stand. I'm going to measure it and make sure it's the level. And then I've got <coughs> these brackets. So these will go. So, and I've got a bolt that fits into that original bumper support. And then uh, on this side, I need to I need to uh, drill these out, make them bigger for the bigger bolts.